I'd love to share some ideas I have about going above and beyond adult coloring book pages. You know, they're great for mindfulness activities, um, being in the present moment, relaxation, being able to just, you know, let your thoughts free associate while you color with those beautiful colors. And I think they can be really useful for teaching or helping people practice the creativity muscle to come up with new ideas, to really go into the unknown and grapple with that a bit and get excited about what they can discover. So today I'm gonna to show you some of those ideas and I'd love to invite you to do them or even ask your clients to do them. So I'd like to show you the end result of my first idea. And what I've done is I've cut the coloring book apart and reconfigured it on the page so that then I could start to imagine what is beyond the actual coloring book page, right? So here's how you do that. You start with your coloring book page and you'll want to cut it into strips or curves or whatever really makes sense to you. I kind of matched the curviness of the design on the page. So it doesn't really matter how you cut it. And then you're going to get another piece of paper and rearrange the coloring book page so that the new cuts become a puzzle. I think I got that a little bit reversed. There we go. And then you have spaces in between. And the invitation really is to think about what fills the white space? What goes on the in-between? And once you have an idea of how big you want those spaces and perhaps even what you imagine goes behind there, then you're going to go ahead and glue the strips down onto the page. in that arrangement. Right? And then after you have all of them glued down, you want to use paint or crayons, or in, in this case, I used watercolor crayons, which I then added water so that they would mush into each other and make this nice wash effect. These are my favorite ones that I use. They come in 30 colors and it's just really fun to put them in there. And when I think about what happened for me in doing this and exploring it, it was certainly was a new way of thinking about the original page. And I began to imagine the sense of um, roots below and uh, treetops above or you know it was uh, ocean below and, and, and sky above that there was this real sense of grounding and expansion as well as an in-between and that sure brought in new ideas for me um, if I had been talking to somebody about that I'm certain that there could have been insights uh, new ways of thinking about what was going on for me at the time and for sure something that enriched my actual coloring experience with the adult coloring book page. So that's the first idea I want to share. I have a couple more. This idea, this is the, oh, it goes this way. <laughs> This idea has to do with totally rearranging the pieces of the page. So here's my coloring book page again. And what I did for this one was I randomly cut again. So taking something what is, that is known in front of me and then randomly cutting it out in various shapes. This time, maybe I'll try circles. And 
And you don't have to predict what is going to come of your circles or your other shapes. You're just doing some deconstructing, which again is inviting a new way of thinking about something that is known, which is all about creativity. So once you have those pieces cut, you can get a new piece of paper again. This time I thought it would be really neat to use black because it shows up so nicely with all of the coloring book uh, colors. And arrange the pieces on the page in some way that now makes sense to you. And you know, you might have to roll with it a bit and see, matching colors might be an option. I'm not, I'm just playing with this for the first time, so I'm not sure where it's gonna take me, but it could be really interesting. And I might wanna cut even some more circles, and now I'm getting, getting this idea of a, of a pathway or a cobblestone path kind of thing um, that could be really interesting to explore. In, in this instance, it turned into a landscape um, with some swirls and some, some things below. And so, you know, while I, it, it wasn't at all what was the, the start of the adult coloring book, the ending was really uh, very, very interesting and very different, so that was inspiring. Another idea I have has to do with taking the page and thinking of a feeling word that seems opposite to the page's feeling. So in this case, the page felt really um, free and uh, easy and safe, and so I decided to cut out scared and put it on the page. Uh, I was thinking of trying mad as well. So in this case, I've taken the coloring book page and I've traced letters that say mad. And now if I were to do this, I would cut these letters out. One of the things about creativity is you can see things from different perspectives. And taking a colorful page that feels a certain way, perhaps, cheerful or, like I said, free and easy, and cutting out a word that it doesn't match with that can help you see that new word in a new light, which is a wonderful way of starting to talk about emotions, uh, that they don't have to be one way, that they're fluid, that you can be flexible with them, and it's just a really interesting experience to be able to see them in a new light. And then the last invitation that I have is since you've been cutting up various pieces from your coloring book, you are going to find one of those pieces. Let me show you the end result. Find one of those pieces and use it as a starting point for a drawing. And in this case, I've had this little piece. And I started with this blue, that was my first color, that I just brought it around. And it grew from there. So it's just a, way, a starting place. You don't have to know where it's going to end up, which is another thing to exercise with your creativity. And um, it can be really interesting, surprising, even insightful to see what happens. So. If I were to take this one and glue it down, anywhere on the page, and using my markers, I might, I might go like this as a starting place. 
you see, and, and it, it's really a freeing feeling that you don't have to know what it's going to look like. You don't have to draw anything specific or even know how to draw something specific. And going from there. And so now I'm getting to be reminded of a fish and I might develop it so that this fish has some air bubbles coming up and maybe a big tail. Maybe it's a beta fish, who knows, right? But I could work with that some more and maybe it would turn into something else, like maybe it looks like a frog now and that's okay interesting and using some yellow that came from the original piece right and I'll develop that more but just to give you an idea that you don't know where it's going to end up you've come up with something brand new and you sure tackled some of the little subtleties of being creative and wandering into the unknown with your adult coloring books. I hope you have fun, and I'd love to hear about your experiences.